First of all, Manahu, and uh, means hello in our language, I'm Mono, and we're here on Miwok uh, area. And so what we're doing is taking care of the, the resources that are used culturally by the tribes. We're also on, sitting on a 40-acre uh, cultural, archaeological cultural site. Tribal people came from Yosemite, Mid Pines, Mariposa, Boot Jack, Awani, Corsco, Oakers, North Fork, Aubrey, Toll House, Clovis. And they came to gather sticks for basketry, berries for food. There's medicine plants here of all different kinds. So here in this area, I have a cultural burn permit in which from January 1 to June 1, I can burn any day I want, even when it's a non-burn day, except for extreme non-burn days. And if it's an extreme non-burn day, I'm not burning either. <laughs> so that though is important because I have, like today is a setup with, with three different colleges and four or five different tribes and other and some agency folks that have already been here today and still are from the governor's office. And so um, that's important for us to be able to do what we need to do and, and help people be a part of it so that they have a better understanding. I'm here to learn about like the cultural practices to help preserve our forests um, by taking care of it rather than just letting, I guess, nature take its toll. And why, why is this important to you? Um, it's important because there's been a lot of, uh, nature is really important to me and I like to see how what are ways that I can do to better work with nature um, that are sustainable? <laughs> Call him on it. Call him on the spot. I am out here today at the Cultural Burn with Ron Good, North Fork Mono Tribe, and a bunch of other students and agencies out here today. And what we are doing is we are gardening in a forest, really. We are cultivating new growth um, through a traditional method. The important part of what we're trying to do is to um, change policies that have been here for 120 years, and, and including fire suppression, you know, that fire should be something that is, from the native point of view, uh, it's healthy, it's necessary, it's a tool for us to revitalize the land. Okay. Yeah, fire's importance to the natural ecosystem is th what we have today, we're experiencing throughout California, um, raging wildfires that are burning 100, 150,000, 250,000 acres um, because the land has not been being cared for in a proper manner. When we see these extreme fires, that's when it's tipped the scale out of balance a little bit. And that's largely because fire was taken off the land through fire suppression policies for a very long time. Um, and Native peoples were not allowed to put fire on the land as they had previously done for thousands and thousands of years. And so when they lived on the land, uh, they took care of it. And unfortunately, uh, time has slipped away. So you have a lot of downed trees, a lot of drought stricken trees 
And when they lived out here, they needed it for wood. And so everything was always cleaned up and it was really park-like. Mm -hmm. And so we've been creating this, uh, emulating this park-like look by taking care of the bushes. And when we burn, we're doing what we call a cultural burn. And the idea of that is to restore life, bring it back to life.